Hi and welcome to the Samsung videos. In this video I wanted to talk about your home screen and how you can go about changing the apps that are on your home screen and adding some widgets. So this is what I refer to as your home screen. It's the one with the little house picture on it and you will always access this screen when you press the home button. You can do a number of things within this area. So there's always typically more than one page that you can scroll to and you can add additional pages if you would like as well. You can also change the home page. So if we just long press, scroll to the particular page that we would like, we can just press the little house icon at the top and it will change that page to be the home page. We can continue to scroll and we can add additional pages from the far right or if we've added too many pages we can just long press on a particular page and go up here and dump it in the trash can. You can do that for pages that are occupied as well and it will just remove all the widgets and apps from that screen area. You can also change the apps that appear in your home screen. So to add apps, all you would do is go into your apps area, find a particular app that you would like, long press, and it will automatically go to the last page that you were on in the home screen or the desktop area. And then you can simply drop it. Now if you've added the app to the wrong page, you need to tap on the little pencil down here, and it puts it in this edit mode, long press, until you hear a little buzz, and then if you move to the right or the left, it will switch between pages. You can also long press and go up here to remove it or create a folder. So you might like to call it test, for example. And you can add several different apps to that folder. And then select done, then select save and it will create a folder and add a number of apps within that folder so it keeps everything nice and neat and you can store lots of things on the front screen without having to go into the apps area. You'll also notice these big boxes. They're called widgets. They're an extension of certain apps. So if we go to a blank area, long press, we can press the plus button to create more pages or we can go down here to widgets and choose from what's available. So you would need to scroll through and take a look, but some of these are quite useful. So if one that I really like to use is the calendar widget. So if we scroll across, tap on this one, I like this one here. So if I long press on it, I can drag it to a blank page and dump it. Now if I've got something on that page already, it won't allow me to dump it on that page. So it needs a clean page because it's such a big widget. So it's one thing to be aware of if you are having problems placing a widget on the front screen somewhere. One other tricky thing with widgets this size is making them your home screen. So if I was to long press on this one, I can only remove it and it doesn't put me in the edit mode that I would like. So I would need to go to a page that isn't full, long press to bring up this edit mode, scroll across and then make this my home screen and then press the back button. Now my calendar widget is my home screen. So every time I press home, it will take me here. Now if you have the latest version of the Android operating system, which means you've done the latest update, you can edit the icons across the bottom of the screen, which has been disabled for the last couple of versions. You can only edit the four on the left hand side, you cannot change the apps icon. To access that editing feature isn't exactly obvious. If you were to long press on any of these icons, it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't put you in any sort of an edit mode. What you need to do is tap the little pencil over here and then you might want to scroll to a page where you've got a bit of space. You can take these icons and dump them on the page and replace them with one of the other icons. So as you can see, that's quite handy if you want to customize that bottom ribbon. So that's how we go about editing our home screen and adding widgets and apps to that front page area.